We've spent the last year working on building Developer Kit 2 as an update to our original development kit, something that gets a lot closer to what we want the consumer version to be and lets developers make much better virtual reality experiences. DK2 has a variety of different improvements, largely around comfort and presence. The sense of presence in virtual reality is something fundamentally new. You actually, for the first time, you suddenly, your brain says, okay, I've been comfortable in this environment. I know it's not real, but I think it is. With the second developer kit, a year of R&D, we're getting a lot closer. DK2 has lower latency, higher frame rate, higher resolution, and low persistence, along with full sixed off positional tracking. All of these combined allow for much better gameplay experiences and a much more comfortable user experience. With DK2, we now have sub-millimeter accurate position tracking, which means that the views can respond the way it actually should in all cases. That allows you really to lean forward, lean backward in space, lean around corners. It just opens up so many gameplay opportunities and changes fundamentally the way you can develop content. Another huge improvement that we made is using a low persistence display. Our low persistence display shows an image only for a brief amount of time. Then the display goes dark until the next frame comes in. Doing this at a high enough frame rate means that your brain does not see any motion blur or any judder in the resulting image. Two years ago, I thought all we needed was faster pixels, get to 120 hertz OLED response time and we were done. And it was really exciting to see Valve's research which demonstrated so vividly what a difference the low persistence display makes. We've also greatly reduced the latency in our system by improving our code, video pipeline, and display. Our original dev kit was 60 frames a second, not because that was what you really need for a great convincing VR experience. It was just the best display that we could get our hands on over a year ago. Now we're using a higher frame rate OLED display that really makes a huge difference. It's really not that there's just one thing that's better about DK2, it's how all these new features come together to really take the experience to a whole nother level. We've spent the last years figuring out what consumer virtual reality needs to be. We know what we need to ship. Everyone at Oculus is passionate about building the best virtual reality technology in the world. One of the big goals at Oculus is to bring together the smartest people in the world. We're working on hardware, software, we have creative, we have infrastructure. The only way we're gonna deliver virtual reality, the holy grail, this incredible pursuit of presence, is by recruiting the very, very best in the industry. I think that's one of the main things that held virtual reality back for years. The right group of people never came together to work on the right problems. I think that's what Oculus has done. We, we're bringing together the best developers in the world, the best talent in the world, across multiple disciplines to build something that everyone thought couldn't exist. The virtual reality community is stronger than it's ever been before, and we would not be where we are without them. There are hundreds of virtual reality experiences being created, more content in the last year made for VR than in the last 20 years combined. It's going to be the small teams that go out and do something that's so fundamentally cool that it winds up defining the language for the platform. We can't wait to see the experiences that come out of all of these new features.